there or is there not such a thing as post-Byzantine art? And what should it be called if not post-Byzantine art? The of this conference is that it's, even within the field of art history, rarely studied. And since we do not have art history as a department, as a discipline, as CU, it's integrated into medieval studies, it's partly integrated into history, but this is one of the first events at Central European University dedicated to art history proper, which is very exciting and we are very proud in the Centre for Eastern Mediterranean Studies. I believe that this workshop on post-Byzantine art reflects that Byzantine art was a very vital part of the culture of many peoples and survived, albeit with adaptations, the fall of the empire that gave it birth. This vitality is a reflection of the huge cultural influence which Byzantium exerted in its heyday. The cultural development in the Byzantine Empire, conquered by the Ottomans, as is now absolutely clear, did not experience the same break with the past, nor did it follow the same historical course. So we are dealing with terminology which suffers from a split personality in, in essence. It's very important, uh, and especially now when a number of uh, countries which belong to this Byzantine cultural tradition became a part of the European Union. And so it's, it's even politically important, I mean, to understand this heritage, this cultural heritage. It is uh, not just, you know, academically interesting. It is a big background of uh, peoples still living in the area, especially in the Balkans. The research uh, exactly of the 19th century art uh, uh, in, the Balkans, in the Balkans will give us uh, the key to solve the mysteries of the earlier iconography uh, because we don't have a lot of monuments of the Middle Ages. Uh, so it's very important and that's the very time that uh, we have to start to, to collect uh, this data and to interpret it. It's important that we exchange views and that people from different countries and of different academic backgrounds come together and discuss their uh, subjects of research. For example, Anna Cristido presented stuff from Albania that I think 90% of people had never seen before. Not to mention special approaches to topics that we may know of, but from now approach from a different point of view. And the point is the common point of references that unite all these cultures. And this is where I wanted to bring everybody's attention to. Mm -hmm.